This video is brought to you by Squarespace. In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my top 10 go-to foods at a Japanese conveni. So I haven't done a video like this in quite some time, so I thought maybe go back to roots and kind of go where we like first started and share with you guys some of my recent favorite picks at a Japanese convenience store. A lot of you guys already know that Japan has one of the most amazing convenience stores because there's such a wide range of selection. There's new stuff coming out all the time. So like what better time to do a video on this kind of stuff than now since I haven't done it for such a long time. All right, but before we start, if you wanna help support the channel, then definitely check out the Osaka merch. I know that a bunch of you have already purchased the Tokyo merch, the Osaka merch. Uh, what I'd really like to see is if you guys like take a picture, tag me on Instagram and let me know. See how like large this family has grown over the last couple years. You guys have been awesome. I love all of the support. I love the comments. I do top 10 videos. I do these day in the life videos. I do hidden tours. I do city guides. Let me know in the comments what your favorite is. Let me know if you like this video. Do not like me being inside the room. Would you rather me being outside? Let me know in the comments because I really want to kind of like make this channel for you guys. Yeah, let me know. I always like to hear your feedback in the comments. All right, so without further ado, let's get our convenience. Number one, Onikoha Snack Shio Karbi from Oyatsu Company. All right, so this is the no potato chip potato chip. The, re the reason why I say that is that it's not really fried. You usually expect um, potato chips to be fried. This one is actually not fried. What's even better is that it's made from our favorite thing in the world. Huh? Oh, what's even better? <laughs> Mark is like, what? And what's even better, it tastes like our favorite thing in the world. Meat! I mean, how can you go wrong? You got potato chips and you got meat. You put them together and you get this. So here's the chip itself. You can see that it's kind of like nice, light and airy. It almost looks like um, a like chicharron or a pork rind in the States. You can see kind of like the bubbles. And when you take a bite, like it's so airy that when you take the bite, it just kind of all disintegrates in like your mouth. It's, it just like completely just goes away. It's just amazing. Meat and lemon. I mean, who doesn't love meat and lemon? It's almost like you're having Korean barbecue on potato chips. Hmm. 270 calories per bag. Oh, wow. So it's... That's really good. It's not like the junkiest potato chip because it's like non-fried. It just disappears, honestly. Can I try it? Yeah. Oh. that's it tastes like it's fried, oh my god. It tastes unhealthy in a good way. <laughs> this one is nice because it is also a new potato chip that they have in the stores. This one was probably released in the last like month or two, at least when I noticed it first. And so I tried it and you know, I like it. So there you go, you're getting my tips. Number two, souffle pudding from Family Mart. And the next bad boy coming to you straight out of the dessert corner. Yay! Too much energy? Maybe, maybe not. But we're about to have some more energy with this. So this one comes from Family Mart. In fact, it's a Family Mart treat, so you can only get this at Family Mart. Look at this, and it's a souffle pudding. It says, happy taste. So it can't go wrong with a happy taste. This is actually one of Maiko's favorites. That's why it's on this list today. It almost didn't make the cut, but Maiko begged me and begged me. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, Paolo, please, please. Let's open this right now. Oh, look at that biscuit looking thing. It has some whipped cream, it has some pudding, it has little light souffle cake on top. Let's take this bite. Oh. Pudding is a little bit eggy, not too much on the egg, like strong egg side, but you can definitely taste some egg in there. The top cake part, it's kind of fluffy, but at the same time, take a bite and it just kind of all turns into kind of like a thick, mishy mashy mash. I can see why you like this. <laughs> yeah, man, how many calories is this? It doesn't even have the calories on here. I think that's- Oh. Oh, damn. 356. Wow, it has more calories than a bag of potato chips. Okay, so this is apparently my favorite sweet like afternoon snack. This is just so good because it's mixture of like gooey pudding, uh, whipped cream, and how do you say, really moist souffle. 
絶対おいしいもん。Yeah, not this o t It's so light. Did you realize this pudding part is like, it's almost like a liquid? Ah, so good. Take it away from me. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna keep eating. <laughs> Number three, Moko Tanmen Nakamoto Umakara Yakisoba from 7 Eleven. You guys have might have seen this, this Nakamoto ramen before in one of my previous videos. It's like my top spicy ramen video. But in just the last few months, they released their yakisoba version. It's spicy, it has that fire, it has that mayonnaise, it has that goodness to make you feel like you are alive. So this Is the finished product. All I needed to do first was open it up, take out all of like the three contents, pour the hot water in, and then close the lid, let it sit for five minutes. While I let it sit for five minutes, there's like three different sauce packets. You gotta take the liquid one and you kind of like heat it up on top. And then after five minutes, you open the opposite side of the lid and you pour all the water out to like drain it. And then you add the powder and ekitai, which is the liquid, and you kind of mix that all up together. Then you add spicy miso mayonnaise on top. Like it almost Almost looks like it's like a, like a eerie orange, it's like a Halloween orange. Ring the alarm! Woohoo! Because Paolo is going to town. Mmm. That's good. Oh. And spicy. The liquid sauce is spicy itself. You can see when I was like pouring it on how much kind of like red oil that was in there and I tasted it. It's, it's quite spicy. But the spicy miso mayonnaise on top, although it's a little bit spicy, kind of gives it more of like a refreshing so it's not like fire, fire, fire. It gives it kind of like a, a nice tangy taste to it. Overall, it is like a salty dish, which you would expect from yakisoba. You have the little pieces of vegetables in here, which is nice. You also have these kind of like beef chunks. Hopefully, it's real beef, u n d e r dehydrated beef, I guess, rehydrated with water now. For a few hundred yen to have this spicy delight, the tongue is starting to burn a little bit. Sweat is starting to start, so it's either really hot in here or the spiciness is kicking in. It's cold in here. The smell is not so bad. <laughs> like, I didn't think it was gonna be spicy. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be spicy, so like, I got like a big bite and like it touched my throat. <laughs> I'm like, holy no! It's yeah, it's addictive. Number four. Karito Tewari Ume Snack from Lawson. So, a bit on the lighter side, we've got the pickle plum. This is like one of those like perfect snacks to just to take on the go because it has the Ziploc and you can just kind of like put it in your bag. And then when you need kind of something a little bit refreshing, this is what I go to. And it's like super healthy. So, this whole entire bag is only 18 calories. And what I really like is how it just kind of like crunches when you eat it. Mmm. It has that sourness of the ume. It has a little bit of that moisture still, so it's not like completely dried out. So you get that crunch. It's such an interesting texture. It's, I mean, how do I describe this texture?、Um, like biting into a plunger. Kind of like this bouncy play in your mouth, but then at the end, it just crunches because of all like, the pressure from your teeth. Does that even make sense? Let me just show you how crunchy this is. <laughs> Let me just show you how crunchy this is. There you go. So, if you're at the store, you want something to kind of like wake you up, or you want something to snack on, but you want to be a little bit healthy, this is the ticket. Number five, yaki niku bibimbap with nine kinds of vegetables from 7 Eleven. So, my go to lunch, money saving lunch, is this bibimbap from 7 7 Eleven. We actually call it 7 here. So, in the package, rice and the toppings are separated. After you warm it up, you have to pour the topping on top of the rice. And what I do is I put the egg yolk on top and it makes it like even milder. It's important to mix it really well. This one has a meat, that's why I like it. It has namo. Ah,、oh, it smells so good. Ja, itadakimasu. I know how it tastes, but. Itadakimasu. Mmm, 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 mmm. So, it's really good. I don't know if you can hear it, but the vegetables are really crunchy. I love the mixture of like a crunchiness and the gooiness. It's so good. 
Can I try it now? Mm -hmm. Yay! Mmm. You get a little bit of the savoriness from the meat, I think. What I love about bibimba in general is that it has all these different textures. It has a crunch from like the sprouts and the carrots, some spinach, onions. There's just quite a lot that's going on and it's like all tied together with this kind of sweet barbecue Korean sauce. Overall, like this is kind of like one of those meals that will satisfy you. Like, like you don't need to get anything else. If you go to the kabini, you can just get this and you're gonna be pretty satisfied. At least I'm pretty satisfied. Well, actually no, I'm lying. I probably would get this and probably get like one more snack, but <laughs> it is pretty satisfying in general. Mmm. Hey, don't eat it all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it all. It's so good. Can I just have one more bite? Mmm. <laughs> all right, before we continue, time to get paid. Thank you Squarespace for supporting this video. Without Squarespace, I wouldn't be able to continue making these videos for you guys. If any of you have ever seen the site, Tokyo Zebra, where we host all of our maps and everything, then you might have noticed that it's built with Squarespace. One of the things that has been really useful for me is using the blog platform on the Tokyo Zebra blog. I can share stories, I can share updates, I can post photos and videos, just like so much I can share. And if any of you are an analytics nerd like me, you can see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time, allowing you to customize your website, making it a better experience for your audience. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial today. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Paolo from Tokyo. Save 10% on your first website or domain. Go check out Squarespace now. All right, bring on some more food. Number six, Edu Chiki, Mexican taco flavor from Lawson. Fried chicken time! I'll be honest, like usually my favorite is the spicy red L chicken. It's so much better when fried chicken is a little bit spicy. But today I kind of wanted to share something a little bit new. They just recently released this in Lawson. These little flakes right here are actually tortilla pieces. It has the tortilla um, shell flakes all embedded in the fried chicken skin. Oh. You can still smell the lovely fried chickenness. I'm sorry guys, like, let me know if you guys really don't like me doing fried chicken anymore in any of these videos and I'll stop because maybe you guys are getting sick of fried chicken because probably every other food video we have, we have fried chicken, but I just love it so much. Something about fried chicken. All right, let's take the first bite. Mmm. What's nice is that you can like taste the, the tortilla shell, like the hard tortilla shell, but it also has some spiciness. So can you guys see that red oil right there? And so it does have like this spicy kick to it as well. There's kind of like a spicy taco, not just like a taco, kind of like a spicy taco. Mm. So it's kind of like taking one of my favorite things, spicy fried chicken, and it's taking my other favorite thing, tacos, and they put it together and they made one fried chicken. Number seven, marinated quail eggs from Family Mart in Lawson. Next is that quail egg hitter. So this one is one of those like unsuspecting things that you would never, ever, ever, ever probably go to the kombini and say, hey, let me try that. But I did and I love it. These are packaged quail eggs. This one is from Family Mart and this one is from Lawson. I usually eat the Lawson ones, but Family Mart ones, are smoked. So they're like two different flavors. Uh, maybe you guys can tell me which one you guys like better if you come here. All right, so this one is like the standard, which I always go to. You can see that it's kind of like a little bit moist inside. It has kind of like the, the juices still there, so it's nice and moist. Ah. Being honest with you, it's like it's kind of like an acquired taste. Some people might not like it, but I just love these. I can eat a whole bag of these so easily. I don't think I've ever had this before. Why do you see me eating it all the time? I know. How is weird stuff? Like, I mean, like, I'm not saying this is weird, but like, this is not something, I don't know, like, a girl would just like pick it up and like, okay, I'm gonna eat this during my, I don't know, like, work break. Yeah. Well, that's really... here. <laughs> the inside is more moist than I thought. The, the picture looks so dry, so I'm like, eh, I never tried it, but... Yeah, but like, this is like, more of drinking snack, I think. I feel like it's slight... Dashi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Katsu to komu ga kaoru wa fudashi fudakare, but dashi flavor. It's very good with like 
Nihonshu. This one is from Family Mart. This is a smoked quail egg and it has a soy base. So it's been kind of like marinated in like this original soy sauce that they have. But this one here is the original and this one is the smoked like soy base one. I have this one again. Mm. Now this one is, have you ever had like those smoked sausages? It almost like tastes like that because of like the smoke flavor to it. It's a little bit more firm than the original one. Man, it's so good. Number eight, Ozak Niku Atsu Cheeseburger flavor from House Foods. All right, so this one is a little bit safe for you guys that don't like to be a little bit risky. That one, just like, hey, Paolo, can I get like a bag of potato chips that you like that's not so sour or that doesn't have eggs or that's smoked or just something that's just a little bit standard. This one is for you, my Western compatriots. This one is the Ozak potato chip bag, but it's one of the like the lightest and airiest potato chips here in Japan. And it is cheeseburger flavor. Yeah. Even the, you can see the burger on there. I love how like fluffy and airy these chips are. Look at that. Mmm. It has that cheeseburger flavor. You can see the chip itself has a lot of bubbles. You can see the salt flakes, the seasoned flakes, has little holes. Do it. Like, I don't know how they make it so that it has burger and the cheese flavor. That's amazing. How do they do that? Keep eating. Anyways, we want something standard. If you want a good bag of chips, airy, and if you're looking for that cheeseburger flavor, clackety clack, Mr. Ozak. I wonder why they said they put niku atsu. This is thick? No. I think it's just like, it tastes like a thick cheeseburger. Oh, so it's like it has the. He's eating yakisoba right now. <laughs> You're eating so much, you're so hungry. Let's eat it. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. This tastes like a thick cheeseburger. What does it taste like to you? you no, know, when you like breathe through your nose, you have that like freshness. Why do I taste this freshness? Because that's what it tastes like when you eat a hamburger. <laughs> Number nine, Ume Chirimen Onigiri from Lawson. Again, I had my picks, but decided to let Maiko win this one because this is her super pick today. So this is an oinari san, which means it comes in like this tofu skin bag. It's like a tofu pouch that they've kind of lapped, wrapped it in and inside of the tofu pouch. You have the rice ball itself. Let me just open this up for you. You can see the little fish, the little sesame seeds. You can see the ume on top. It's like licking my fingers. It tastes like yakisoba. <laughs> <laughs> you can taste the sweetness of the tofu pouch has been sweetened. Take a bite. Mmm, there's just so much flavor in there. It's like it's sweeter than I would expect. Really, really picks up like a lot of flavors in here. You can taste the ume, but the ume itself isn't so strong. Here it's kind of like a subdued, like a mild, mild taste. Fish you can only can barely taste. It gives it a little bit of that savoriness, I think, because it does have that little bit of a uh, the saltiness. Oh man, the tofu is probably like the star here. It's the one that like kind of stands out. I think the rice is a little bit vinegary. This sourness is not coming from the ume itself, but from the rice. They made it kind of like a sushi-like rice. So it's more like sappari You feel it lighter than the regular uh, onigiri. It also has the crunchy, like chopped up crunchy ume. So it yeah, adds the texture. This is like a whole goodie package. I like it. And number 10. Korito Ika Nankotsu from Lawson. This next one is my super, super Japanese snack because this wouldn't be complete without a super, super Japanese snack. It's another like Japanese snack that no one ever, ever chooses to get. I don't think anyone would. And it is a sweetened vinegar squid cartilage. That doesn't even sound good. <laughs> So you can see here, you have these like little pieces of squid. In fact, that you would think that they were dried, but they're soaked in like a sweet vinegar sauce. We got, we got 20 in the chamber, so let's try the first one. Mmm, it's sweet. It has that sourness to it. Oh, it's such an interesting texture. It's almost like a rubbery texture because of the sweetened vinegar. 
you just want to like keep on eating more and more. This would be like another snack perfect for drinking. If you're to sit around with your friends and like hanging out, then you can have just a packet of this or a tray of this just sitting on the table and have your chopsticks out and go into town. I usually finish this like whole entire bag in one sitting. I'll be in front of the computer and I'll just eat this whole entire thing. So you're not going to try this. Like no one's going to try this unless someone says it's good. And I'm telling you, it's good. It, it is an acquired taste, but it's just so nice. All right, so that concludes the video. Hope you like it. If you did, help me out and hit that like button. If you want to see what I'm doing on the daily, then definitely check out my Instagram account. Help support the channel. Check out the Osaka merch. Finally, if you want to see more of my top 10 videos or Japan guides, hit that subscribe button, the bell button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.